Hi everybody, this is Rebecca M. Carroll, founding member of The Coaching Educator, and we are again working through the monster form, the FAFSA, which is soon to open up for students who are seniors or for people who are going back to school. This is a form that needs to be filled out every single year. So as you saw in our previous uh, presentation, we went over the how to fill out the FAFSA. We had that nice announcement that it's on your, your smartphone now. They have an app. Then we've, we split it up into two presentations, one being if you are still considered a, a dependent student, and I would encourage you to go into that if you haven't seen those yet. And then we did for independent students. So now we have assumed that you've filled it out. We're here for the FAFSA corrections. One of the reasons why I said you would need to make a FAFSA correction would be because you, you want to put in more schools. If you want to put in more schools, first you need to wait until you get that email from the school saying, we have processed your FAFSA. And that has to come from the individualized school. You will get an email from FAFSA stating that it's processed, but each school then has to download it. And as soon as they have downloaded it and worked with it, they'll let you know. And that's when you can go back in and you can put more schools in. So let's begin. There's also other reasons why you would want to go back in here. You may have had an error. You may have noticed that you added an extra zero or didn't add a zero that you needed to for income. And so that is why a lot of people go back in. So here we are, we're in the FAFSA. It will say welcome, it'll say your name, and then you have either an action required or you're looking at changing. So you're going to press the button, make FAFSA corrections. When you get in here, you have to remember your save key. And I would really encourage you, if you haven't done it already, go to the coachingeducator.com forward slash free downloads. And in there, you will find our FAFSA worksheet. It's a great sheet to print out. You can keep your login, your verified email, all the information, your save key, etc. So here we go. So you put your save key in and it states you're leaving. Here again is what it looks like on your phone app. You press OK and it comes to here. Now if you press on these different links making corrections to the process to a process FAFSA, how, to man how many steps does it take to complete, things like that. That's just instructional stuff but as you can see you are at, you're going to head to student demographic, and then right next to it, it says school selection, depends, dependency status, parent demographics, financial information, sign and submit. So here is where you are. You can just look and you can actually go, if you're just going in to change the schools, you can click on school selection. If you need to change parent demographics or financial information, you can click on that tab that's in that light blue band, you can go ahead and collect and, and go to the appropriate tab. So here you are, you're in student demographics. You basically will be clicking if you need to change something, if you've spelled your name wrong, anything like that. If you have the wrong social security number though, that is a different ball game. You can pretty much change everything in here, but you cannot correct your social security number here. You actually have to go to the social security office that's located near your area. Um, so that's why it's so important to not guess if you're not sure. So as you can see, here's all the demographics. It's basically what you already filled out. If there's anything that you need to change, here it is. So now let's assume that you already have 10 in here. Right here, they have two. Let's assume that you need, you would like to have more schools in there. So we end up, we put our schools, you can remove the school, and then as you can see below, almost to the bottom where you're pressing the button next or previous, right above that it says add a school. So first you need to remove the schools, 
that have contacted you and said, hey, we have your FAFSA, we processed it, go ahead and remove it, and then you can add schools. Now let's talk about the idea that somehow you made an error and you still want those same schools because there is an actual error and you need to correct it and you need to resubmit it to all the schools. You'll then wait, you'll then have um, an email eventually saying, yes, we've processed your correction. Here is your dependency status. So again, you're just going through all the same questions. It's just laid out differently. And there, now you're into your parent portal. And now your financial information. And then you're gonna get eventually to your own information, there you go. So now it, it actually shows you what you have corrected. So as you can see where it says, we're gonna assume in this PowerPoint that the person need, needed to change the address. So your permanent mailing address include apartment. And so it says the previous response you had, so as you can see here in this demonstration, they spelled their main wrong. They put M-I-A-N. And then it tells you what you actually corrected it, the correct response. So if you corrected several different things, it'll actually show you there. So it's kind of a nice thing. Now, sometimes they will ask, there are situations where people have to put a negative. If they've had an extreme financial loss or anything like that, sometimes they have, especially if their parents own a business or they own a business, and a response would actually be a negative. Um, so oftentimes they will prompt you and say, hey, are you sure you wanted to put that? And if you did want to put the negative amount, then that's what you put in and you keep moving forward. Now they ask you to sign off again. So you have to agree and then you sign. And then it goes to your parent. So again, you're looking for the, they're looking for the parent signature you press agree, and then your parents have different ways of doing it. So as you can see below, it says select one of the following options. So you can print a signature page. And so if you click that one, a signature page comes up, you print it out, you bring it to your parent, and then you need to get it to, and they will tell you on that page where to send it to, fax it to, or scan it and email it. The other option, is to print submit without signatures and so you go ahead and submit it but then you're going to be prompted you need to have your parents sign off so it's important that you do so either way um, you need to follow the instructions and then it'll have your corrected FAFSA and there you can see it says that this particular person is going to get some part of a Pell Grant and also a direct Stafford loan. So there you have it, it's that easy. I often, at times, I really encourage people to print out this page and if you have made a correction, save your old page and have this page as well. And we are at the end. Next up, we're gonna go over the SAR. The SAR is the Student Aid Report.